Hi, and welcome to the first lesson on Maxwell's laws. This is the first lesson in a series that will introduce Maxwell's equations, which are the equations that govern electric and magnetic fields, static electric and magnetic fields, and also time-varying uh, electric and magnetic fields. And the reason why we're going to talk about them is to introduce light as an electromagnetic wave. So, let's get started. In step one, we'll give you an introduction to the whole block of three lessons. So in the previous module, we talked about how light behaves. We talked about light entering through from one interface to the other. We talked about, for example, the uh, angles of reflection, the angles of refraction. If you have an array of light coming from one medium with some refractive index and hitting another medium with a different refractive index, we are exploring what happens in such a case. And we said that a portion of the light uh, reflects back, and portion of the light enters the new medium, and we were considering what's the relationship between the angles of incidence and angles of refraction. And then we use these uh, ideas and we, we develop them further to see what happens when we require total internal reflection such that uh, we could guide the light going through, through um, a glass fiber. So all of this was nice, uh, nice and easy, but it didn't really tell us what light was. It only told us how it behaves. This picture suggests that light is some kind of uh, a line, some kind of ray that just travels in a straight line, and it behaves in a certain way. This is uh, quite accurate in some cases, but in a lot of the cases, for example, light entering a, a single mode fiber, it's not the correct picture to use. So in this lesson, we're going to explore what light is and how do we describe it. And just to cut things short, we're just going to give you the answer right away. Light is an electromagnetic wave. This is a very short sentence, but it's loaded with lots and lots of information. So in the next three lessons, we're going to unpack all this information and then put it back together so that uh, you understand why this is true. So in this lesson, we're going to talk about electric and magnetic fields, and in particular, how to describe them and what laws do they obey. We're only going to consider static uh, electric and magnetic fields, and these two um, uh, um, scenarios will lead us to the first two Max, uh, Maxwell's equations. In the next lesson, we're going to introduce time, so we will look at how these electric and magnetic fields change in time. And in lesson six, we will introduce uh, Max, the other two Maxwell's equations, Maxwell's equations three and four. So together, there's, there will be four Maxwell's equations. Uh, and in fact, you will see that a lot of these equations uh, aren't something that Maxwell introduced. He really just compiled uh, the knowledge that was known about electromagnetic fields uh, uh, at the time. We will see the Gauss's law, we will see Faraday's induction's law, we will see uh, Ampere's law. And finally, in the last, uh, uh, last lesson of this series, in lesson seven, we will take these uh, Maxwell's uh, uh, laws, we will put them together, and we will demonstrate uh, that light is an electromagnetic wave. We will derive the wave equation for light, and then we will uh, consider some, uh, 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 some of the properties of such an electromagnetic wave. For example, how does energy, um, um, how does energy uh, transfer? How does energy propagate in this electromagnetic wave? And we'll be talking about things like pointing vectors and so on. 